<laughs> well, hello there. My name is HW. Hey, I'm the Seuss. And uh, Seuss, you have a prediction, don't you? I do have a maybe a hypothesis. A hypothesis. What, what is it? What is uh, it? So, okay, you know, chorus, vibrato, they're all coming back. Very big. I think they're 2020 mm -hmm. is the year of the rotary speaker. Mm. I think it's coming back. Why? Well, it's just, it's one degree or a couple degrees off from some of these old sure. modulation sounds. Sure. Uh, you know, I think of Black Hole Sun, I think of some of these other songs that have mm -hmm. that really mm -hmm. cool sound. And mm -hmm. I think it's when you're reaching for all these other effects and you haven't gone for the rotary speaker, I think that's when it starts to, oh, that sounds really cool. Right. You know? Yeah. We're one big record away, maybe, from seeing it really come back. It's a great point. A lot of people might not, might not know this, but there's a really cool rotary speaker in the Kemper. Mm -hmm. And uh, it looks like this. We even, and people can download this. We'll make it available uh, on the site. Nice. It's called Mmm Rotary. Mmm Rotary. Mm, play that a little bit, Sue, just yeah. so we can hear that. I'll turn off some of the effects. So there's some really cool things about this effect. Mm -hmm. One is this effect is unlike other effects in the Kemper because this effect actually does not color your sound in the way a rotary speaker would, a rotary speaker pedal mm -hmm. would color your sound. Mm -hmm. This effect actually takes the existing profile cabinet that you have loaded up and it turns that into a rotary speaker. Mm. So it's unique in that this isn't like just getting a rotary pedal. This is actually something the Kemper can do with this effects module. Your, your cabinet is actually coloring the rotary sound and it's simulating the movement of a, rot of a real Leslie speaker with mm -hmm. the, you know, the double kind of spinny deals, mm -hmm. right? And two different microphones. Really, it simulates three different microphones, one on the bass, two up high. Okay. So here's the controls you got. So first off, let's uh, let's assign this so we can hear it with and without. Um, okay, boom, we've got it. Go ahead. This is without. Now we've got a pretty bright, like sort of filtered rotary thing going on mm -hmm. here, but there's a couple of cool things we can do. Um, first of all, our controls are fast and slow. Play slow and then I'll turn on fast. One cool thing is you can actually hold this button down and assign it to a foot switch so that if you, if you didn't, I mean, you could obviously turn it on or off. But um, you can basically have it go slow okay. or fast just with just on your on your. So that's you know. your ham B three like switching back and yeah, forth. Yeah, you can yeah. go back. Yeah, okay. fast or slow. Yeah, and it kind of ramps up the speed. It like, does. Yeah, it ch cool. it changes like slowly. And one cool thing is you can you know play your line with it kind of subtle, and then you can hit a chord turn it on fast and it sort of does that extra warble yeah, on cool. the way out. So you can assign that, right? Mm -hmm. um, which is cool because you could have that on all the time and do that. Okay, other parameter here. We've got it pretty like trebly because there's something called the low high balance. And what that is is it's actually balancing between the two virtual microphones in this case. Mm -hmm. The bass one, the low, being on the bass horn or the bass speaker, mm -hmm. the speaker itself. And then you've got the, the horn up top. So you're sort of balancing, it's almost like you're mixing these two microphones together. Okay. So we were using a pretty like sort of filtered sound because we thought it sounded cool mm -hmm. and it sounds good for this mm, rotary sound. But mm -hmm. play a little bit and I'll, I'll bring it back to the middle and then uh, basically right now it's like 95% Horn. Okay. So you're basically only hearing the horn. Okay. But okay, I play a bit. Yeah, 
that's a pretty powerful control. You know, a lot, I mean, that's like a lot of high end roll mm -hmm. off and the other way. You know? It's a really powerful control. Now, here's an interesting thing. Stereo sort of is going to work in conjunction with this high low balance, this low high balance, mm -hmm. because the stereo, I guess a common way to mic up a Leslie is one speaker on the speaker, oh, sorry, one microphone on the speaker, on mm -hmm. the bass part, and then two microphones on the horn. Mm -hmm. And so with stereo, you're adjusting the angle of the virtual microphone. So at zero, it's dead on, so okay. try that. That's uh, yeah, that's trippy. So those two together can give you kind of a lot of sounds out of here. Yeah. Now then distance, this is distance of those microphones. You can get closer, kind of a more effect or less effect. It, it doesn't make it quite as subtle as yeah. you might expect, even at the lower, but it, it's changing sort of the flavor of it. Okay. If you want to make it more subtle, which one thing you, it, it, this would be really hard to do in real life, this is mm -hmm. why digital is so great, we have a mix control. If you were going to try to have a mix control in real life, you'd need a non-rotary cabinet and a rotary cabinet. And a blender. And, and a blender. <laughs> yeah, you need a mixer right. to uh -huh. like mix them together. Uh -huh. What's cool is you have, you, you can set up a fairly aggressive sound and then jump over to the mix, and you can actually make it pretty subtle. So you were saying, Rotary's gonna come back. Mm -hmm. And I think Rotary has a the best chance of coming back if we mix it down a little bit, okay. you know what I mean? Baby steps. So it's not quite so, <laughs> right. so sort of Rotary, right. you know what I mean? But uh -huh. it's just a cool flavor modulation. So, modulation. so play a little bit and I'll, I'll mix this up and down. So cool. I love it too. To me, like 40%, 30-40% is when it sounds the most like the type of vibrato you hear on records right now. Yeah. Where it's not quite so... Mm -hmm. It just sounds like modulation. It doesn't right. quite have so much of that signature rotary thing, but it just sounds mm -hmm. like a really cool kind of modulation thing. And the speeds are fixed, right? Like the fast and slow, there isn't like a rate uh, control. Those no, you, you just get two fixed speeds, and okay. I think that's how uh, Leslie operated actually. Yeah, that's how my slow. yeah, that's how my my like Nord you know stage was always just fast or slow two right. speeds, and it does ramp up. Now it ramps up pretty quickly. You don't really have a control on the ramp speed, mm -hmm. but it you can hear it moving. That's a really cool, you know, way of, you know, like with vibrato, I guess you could also, you know, either morph or something, mm -hmm. the, the speed or whatever. But yeah. it's just nice to be able to, as you're playing, you yeah. know, uh, be a little bit creative with where you're speeding up and slowing down. That's a cool, yeah. that's a cool feature. No, it's super cool. And it kind of, I mean, the slower speed even sounds less intense. Yeah. You know, it kind of almost seems like there's less of the effect because it's just more subtle, mm -hmm. um, which is super cool. I, I think you might be right. Rotary could be coming back, mm -hmm. and if it is, let the record show that mmm rotary. Yes, it paved the way. Mmm rotary, really <laughs> paved the way. <laughs> yeah, that's mm, awesome. Rotary. Um, hey guys, you can download this. Uh, it's on the Tone Junkie site. I'll put it up there uh, as this video is going up, and um, you can download this. I'm probably going to put it up in a couple different formats because it's about time we started experimenting with those .kpa preset files oh, yeah. that are now able to be brought into Rig Manager, mm -hmm. and so. Um, 
I'll throw this whole profile up there and um, we'll save these effects with these names and and, uh, and and people can put this in their own stuff. Awesome. We've got a really cool like delay and reverb here too, a couple delays and reverbs, but we're going for something kind of on the ambient side. Okay. Something that you could use on, like this is how we might use it on a Sunday morning. Right. Yeah. A little more on the ambient side. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. um, this isn't going to be for like a, you know, an eighth driving rhythm type of thing. Right. Yeah. But this is like one of those uh, second verse, what do they call it? The yeah. curse? Yeah. The second verse curse. Yeah. Like, what are you okay. going to do at a second verse? We're going to kind of play what we did at the first verse, but uh, we're going to throw in a trem or a chorus or mm, rotary. Try this now. And, and uh, you know, if if uh, if it's if it doesn't poke out too much, they'll probably invite you back next week. That's right, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what amp is this, by the way, on this, uh, the profile that we're giving away? Oh, that is a good point. Uh, this is the, no, that's not it. This is the, uh, oh, it's the Avenger 30 H3. And, it sounds um, real good. Well, it's, it's, it's jumping to just, well, it's jumping to just a random one, but that's not the profile that this is. It's, this is the Avenger 30 awesome. H3. Oh, amp tags. Here we go. It's my first day using a camp. <laughs> um, amp tags, scroll. Actually, I've never been to this view. Um, it's the H30, and it's fun. You'd think they'd show you the name right here. They're just showing you the tags, not the actual name. No matter, it's the H30 um, uh, H2 or H3. I can't remember. Nice. But um, we call it mm Rotary. Give it a try. Hey, guys, uh, if you uh, enjoy the mm Rotary sound, uh, give us a like and um, hit subscribe. You can even hit that little bell. Oh, yeah. So that when you're in line at the bank or the grocery store or you're playing with your kids and I upload a video, it'll ding at you so that you can watch it immediately. Right. Stop whatever <laughs> you're doing in your life. Who 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 doesn't wanna <laughs> who doesn't wanna watch things on someone else's schedule? Uh -huh. Who doesn't wanna right. stop what they're doing and watch a tone juggy video? The true fans do. I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, I've been HW. I'm Suze. Suze, play us out. Mm, rotary. Mm -hmm.